Let the vector space V contain the vectors 5, negative 5, negative 3, and 1, 4, negative 5. Which of the following are vectors in the space spanned by V? In order for a vector to be in the space spanned by V, it must be a linear combination of the vectors in V. If the vector cannot be written as a linear combination of the vectors in V, it is not in the space spanned by V. So there's a couple of approaches we can take to solve this problem. One approach would be to let C sub one and C sub two be scalars and set up an equation using each of the given vectors from the list, where we have C sub one times the first vector in V plus C sub two times the second vector in V equals each vector from the list. From there, we would write a system of equations and then try to solve the system. If the system has a solution, then the vector is a linear combination of the vectors in V and is in the space spanned by V. If the system doesn't have a solution, then the vector is not a linear combination of the vectors in V and therefore is not in the space spanned by V. But for this problem, let's take a different approach. Let's set up the vector equation where we let the right side be the generic vector with components x sub one, x sub two, and x sub three. From here, writing the system of equations, we have five c sub one plus c sub two equals x sub one, negative five c sub one plus four c sub two equals x sub two, and then for the last equation, we have negative three c sub one minus five c sub two equals x sub three. From here, we'll write an augmented matrix and then write the augmented matrix in reducer echelon form. What's important to recognize here is that because we have three equations with only two unknowns, in order for the system to have a solution in reduced row echelon form, we must have a row of zeros in row three. Because if we don't, then the vector x sub one, x sub two, x sub three would not be a linear combination of the given vectors in V, and therefore the vector would not be in the space spanned by V. Let's begin to write the augmented matrix in reduced row echelon form. Let's get a zero in row two, column one, by replacing row two with row one plus row two. Let's also get a zero in row three, column one. If we take a look at row one and row three, the least common multiple of five and three is 15. Let's replace row three with three times row one plus five times row three. Row one stays the same. Replacing row two with row one plus row two, we have negative five plus five, that's zero. Next we have one plus four, which is five. And then we have x sub one plus x sub two. Now we replace row three with three times row one plus five times row three. Three times five plus five times negative three is zero. Three times one plus five times negative five is negative 22. And then finally we have three times x sub one plus five times x sub three, which is three x sub one plus five x sub three. And now let's get a zero in row three, column two. Looking at row two and row three, the least common multiple of five and 22 is 110. Let's replace row three with 22 times row two, and then plus five times row three. Notice 22 times five is 110, plus five times negative 22 is negative 110, giving us a sum of zero. Row one and row two stay the same. And now replacing row three with 22 times row two, plus five times row three, we have 22 times zero plus five times zero, which is zero. 22 times five plus five times negative 22 is zero. And then finally we have 22 times the quantity x sub one plus x sub two plus five times the quantity three x sub one plus five x sub three. Let's work this out on this side. We have 22 times the quantity x sub one plus x sub two and then plus five times the quantity three x sub one plus five x sub three. Let's clear the parentheses. We have 22x sub one plus 22x sub two plus 15x sub one plus 25x sub three. And we do have two like terms here. We have two x sub one terms. 
which gives us 37x sub 1 plus 22x sub 2 plus 25x sub 3. This is the entry in row 3, column 3. Now we can go ahead and stop here. Remember, in order for the system to have a solution, because we have three equations with only two unknowns, the third row must be a row of zeros, which indicates that 37x sub 1 plus 22x sub 2 plus 25x sub 3 must equal 0, where x sub 1, x sub 2, and x sub 3 are the components of the vectors. So now that we have this equation, we can simply substitute in the components of each of the vectors from the list and see which of them satisfy the equation. If the vector doesn't satisfy the equation, it is not a linear combination of the vectors in V and also not in the space spanned by V. If the vector does satisfy the equation, it can be written as a linear combination of the vectors in V and therefore is in the space spanned by V. To save some time, I've already set most of this up, where here's the equation that must be satisfied in order for the vector to be a linear combination of the vectors in V and therefore in the space spanned by V. So I've listed the five vectors and already performed the substitution. However, we should recognize the first vector, five, negative five, negative three, is already one of the vectors in V and therefore it is a linear combination of the two vectors. Either way though, notice how it does satisfy the equation because it does equal zero. Looking at the second vector of negative one, negative four, five, and performing substitution, we also get zero, and therefore these first two vectors are linear combinations of the vectors in V, and therefore in the space spanned by V. But notice how the three remaining vectors do not satisfy the equation. For the third vector, we get negative four, which doesn't equal zero. For the fourth vector, we get negative 232, which doesn't equal zero. And for the fifth vector, we get negative 216, which again doesn't equal zero. So because these last three vectors do not satisfy the equation, we know they cannot be written as linear combinations of the vectors in V, and therefore the vectors are not in the space spanned by V. So we only check the first two vectors. I hope you found this helpful.